Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Zach from Two Tell, and it is uh, Tuesday, and we are here, and we're chilling out. And uh, you know, we asked a little bit ago uh, for some more questions for you guys to ask us uh, about you know just life and about the band stuff. So you guys sent a bunch of questions, and so we're gonna answer some of them right now. Uh, the other guys unfortunately couldn't be with me today, but uh, you know, I will do my best to feel them out. And uh, if there's certain questions that are pertinent to them, then we'll hook it up at a, at a later time. Josh Collier, why don't you live near me? Well, I cry about that every single day. And unfortunately, well, I guess kind of fortunately, the, the, the fortunate part is I was born in Canada, so this is kind of where I, where I chill. And uh, the unfortunate part is that we don't get to hang out with all of our cool friends in the States. So, you know, pros, cons, kind of a lose-win situation, but we persevere and we uh, survive through it despite it. Nathan Hamilton. How did Two Tell start getting out there in the scene? Um, that's a great question, man. Um, I would have to say, Nathan, that I still haven't fit quite figured that one out yet. Um, when we, when I, I, when I first started playing the bands, I was a lot younger, and I just kind of one of those things I always kind of did. And uh, and as I got older, I just kept playing in bands and kept trying to, you know, book shows. And it's like the more and more we played, and the more and more we got to do these different things and, and meet these different people, the more and more things kind of were, have worked out for us in some really cool ways. So, you know, the scene, I don't know, man. We're still trying to do what we can and still trying to hook it up and have some fun with it. But you know, I would say a lot of hard work. Um, playing as many shows as possible and generally we try to be nice to everyone we come in contact with you know Evan Duran asked have you guys ever considered getting matching afros beards or dreads Evan we think about that all the time and uh, who knows maybe if you're lucky it will happen at some point stay tuned it's probably not gonna happen though sorry Panhead Hunter asked, when are you guys going to do some screaming? Well, that's a really, really great question. Um, you know what, I don't think it's that far off, considering we all came from pretty uh, you know, heavy backgrounds and stuff. My favorite band is Emery, and they yeah, are pretty alternative, and pretty heavy, and they scream a lot. Um, I used to scream in, in an older band that I had, but it kind of destroyed my voice, and I'm sure that we've all kind of been, I think everyone in the band at some point has been a screamer for our band, which is kind of weird. Um, and actually, on this tour, Mike's been kind of letting out a couple screams, so who knows, man, maybe if you come to a show, you'll see uh, some screens and uh, you know that'd make me really happy so who knows hello uh, Cheryl K asked will you guys be doing more uh, catchy piano riffs and you know she she mentioned the fact later on that when we uh, when I first released um, my first EP the Sun is up and so am I it was very very piano driven and uh, as time has gone on we've kind of gotten a little bit away from that and um, you know I, I grew up playing piano it's, it's kind of the only thing I really know how to do and uh, it's been really great with this latest EP, being able to experiment with that and try to try out some different things and try to you know create more of a band sound. But we're actually planning on going into the studio, uh, hopefully for the next few weeks. And uh, at that point, we will be experimenting with some different uh, sounds and some different vibes and some different options. And uh, at that point, you know, I'm hoping to incorporate more piano um, while still really you know bringing out some incredible guitar bass and drums moments because you know the, the other guys in the band are just super super talented and it's really cool to be able to showcase kind of everything that we're able to do gab tayag tayag asked if you if you could live anywhere in the world where would it be man well i always kind of joke around that i'd really like to live in south carolina because here's how i kind of see it I, re I really love water and south carolina is on the ocean which is amazing and you know i think it'd be awesome to see a whale at some point in my life wild and uh, South Carolina has a lot of appeal because it's on the ocean, um, it's not in California, and California is super nice, but I'm kind of paranoid about it falling off in the ocean, and it would just so happen that when I live there, it would probably do that. So I'm thinking South Carolina is probably where I'd like to live. What was the best prank pulled? What was the best prank pulled while we were on tour? Well, the best prank that we've been a part of on tour is when we were on the Maple Noise uh, tour. It was a really, really great time. We were uh, traveling with Newsboys and Thousand Foot Crutch and a lot of other really great bands. And uh, on the very last date, it was in Abbotsford, British Columbia. We, uh, it was during Thousand Foot Crutch's set. They were in the middle of uh, their last song. They were finishing the set off with Puppet, which is a personal favorite song of mine. And, uh, and so what happened is there, there's a band called Manic Drive and they had these like, kind of lightsaber things. And uh, they, they lit up and TFK had these masks that they were selling at the merch table. So we all got these masks got Manic Drive's um, lightsabers, and during the last part of the puppet, we all, it was Manic Drive, us, 
uh, some guys from Greg Zabel and some of the guys from Manifest as well. And we all went on stage and just basically started attacking TFK in the middle of their set. And uh, it was pretty epic. And <laughs> it was fun, like a, there's, you're in this arena full of people and then we're just kind of, you know, destroying TFK on stage. Uh, Beth Moffat asks, what is March 8th? on uh, So Much More, which is our full-length album. That's a really great question. Um, March 8th is actually um, the day that that first track was recorded. For those of you who don't know, the first track of uh, So Much More, it's, it's basically me walking into, it's the sound of me walking into the studio, whistling the, the, you know, the, the tune for the next song, and then it just kind of goes into it. And it's more of a transition track than anything. And I was trying to think of what to call it, and I was like, you know what, let's just call it, you know, I don't know, the day it was. So on the, uh, on the, the session, it said the date that it was recorded. I was like, yeah, let's just call it March 8th. So March 8th, 2010 was when that was recorded, and that is why it's called March 8th. Um, David Rustenberg, what inspires you to keep going in music? You know what, I'd have to say that, you know, you guys really inspire us to keep going in music. Um, you know, if, if you guys didn't listen to the music that we played or, or watch these Two Tell Tuesday things, you know, then really, um, we'd be kind of, we love music and we'd still make it and we'd still keep doing all those things, but, you know, having you guys pay attention and having you guys listen and, and be so supportive and, you know, all the, all the messages and comments that you guys post is, you know, it really means a lot and we really, really appreciate it and, uh, you know, we, we love music and we love meeting people and we love uh, you know explaining what we believe to people and you know sharing our experiences with people and uh, we're really really excited that you guys can be a part of it so thank you so much thank you so much for uh, allowing us to do what we do and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching the Tutel Tuesday please uh, find us on Facebook facebook.com slash Tutel or you can follow us on Twitter uh, at Tutel or uh, you can also subscribe to us please please subscribe to us uh, youtube.com slash Tutel vids every single Tuesday there is a brand new video um, and uh, who knows who knows what the next one will bring so yeah thank you so guys so much have a great day have a great week peace love you guys